Om Shanti. Are you all happy? Today we are going to make video that is going to make the devotees of Mahavishnu very happy. Although they get themselves mesmerized on seeing Mahavishnu, they themselves do not know the actual meaning of the possessions of Mahavishnu. First, let me make it clear that Mahavishnu was the first king of Bharat. And Bharat or the whole world was heaven during the kingdom of Mahavishnu. But the, the picture of Mahavishnu we see also reveals the secret behind the effort he put to become Mahavishnu. The effort was put by Mahavishnu in his previous birth in Kali Yuga. As a result of his effort, he becomes Mahavishnu in his first birth in Satyug, which was heaven. The very fact that he wears golden crown on his head must reveal to us that he was the king of Bharat. And everything else that we see with Mahavishnu does not refer to the things that he possessed in Satyug, but to the things he possessed in his previous birth. He did not possess these physical weapons as such, but it represents the subtle weapons of mind. Even in Puran, it is mentioned that it was God Shiva who granted him the Swadashan Chakra. It means God Shiva himself came towards the end of Kali Yuga to give these divine teachings to not only Mahavishnu but to everybody else. God Shiva reveals to all souls that this world was created as heaven 5000 years back and this world continued to be heaven for the first 2500 years then it slowly become hell for the next 2500 years as we expect the heaven contains everything that is necessary to make a soul happy forever like the unlimited treasures unlimited wealth, unlimited health, unlimited peace and unlimited happiness. The reason it was heaven for the first 2500 years is because the residents of heaven called the deities were soul conscious and not body conscious. So God asked them to become soul conscious again by consider them by considering them to be the soul that shines like a tiny point of light in between the eyebrows to fill ourselves with the power to concentrate on the soul constantly we need to connect our mind with god who is also a point of light that shines like a star in the golden red colored world called Parandam. It was because deities of heaven were fully soul conscious all the time. They did not commit any sins like lust, anger, greed, attachment or ego. But when they become the residents of hell, they become body conscious because of which they started becoming slaves of sensual pleasures and five vices like lust, anger, greed, attachment and ego. When they were in heaven, since they were soul conscious, they were constantly blissful and peaceful because the very nature of soul itself is blissfulness and peacefulness. So the main reason behind deities being happy all the time was not the unlimited treasures that surround them, but 
their soul consciousness but after the completion of first 2500 years they lose soul consciousness because of which they also start losing happiness peace health and wealth gradually but while in heaven they were so pure and free of any vicious thoughts even child birth happened in heaven out of the pure thoughts of husband and wife to have a baby and not out of lust but in hell because of their addiction to those vices especially especially lust they start losing everything god shiva comes to this kali yug uh, just 100 years before the destruction of kali yug to inform us about the world destruction and also about the arrival of heaven soon after the destruction of the world and god says you are going to regain everything you have been losing for the past 5000 years all we need to do to attain that is to become soul conscious again so th- uh, this is a 5000 year time cycle called kalpa which repeats identically kalpa after kalpa to understand it easily only if you have listened to this video 5000 years back on this very same day you will be listening it now you will also be listening it kalpa after kalpa on the very same day and time so this 5000 year kalpa can be divided into four equal parts called yug or age the first two yug called satyug and treta yug constitutes heaven and the last two yug dwapar yug and kali yug constitutes hell those who took birth in the beginning of satyug they take full 84 births in this 5000 year time cycle so it is the soul that takes 84 bodies in 84 births so the soul takes different bodies and it also has different parents in each birth but the soul remains the same but the only difference is the soul was very pure in the beginning of satyug but after taking several rebirths it becomes completely impure by the time it reaches its final 84th birth so it is the purity that determines one's health wealth and everything that he possesses it was because the residents of satyu were 100% pure they were filled with 100% wealth 100% health 100% peacefulness and 100% blissfulness the only reason god shiva comes from his supreme abode to the earth is to make us completely pure again the only effort he wants us to make to become pure again is to consider ourselves to be souls and to remember god shiva as a point of light as much as possible whether we sit stand talk walk or whatever we do let our mind be always busy in remembrance of god shiva as a point of light the more we remember god as a point of light by considering ourselves as souls our sense of many births will get destroyed and also we will find ourselves getting detached from everything and everybody around us and we feel ourselves constantly blissful within we no longer depend on external beings or external things for our peace and happiness because we souls are 
themselves the embodiments of happiness and peacefulness now this 5000 year time cycle called kalpa is what is shown as swadeshan chakra in mahavishnu's hand the reason it is called swadeshan chakra is because swa means i the soul and darshan means having vision of the soul uh, that takes birth throughout this time cycle which is chakra that is why it is named swadeshan chakra so that is not some kind of physical weapon as they have shown in the path of devotion or else just think for yourself all his four hands are busy with holding some kind of weapon then how can he eat or take bath or do anything else if he has no spare hand the reason mahavishnu or mahalakshmi are shown with four hands is because it is the combined form of the couple lakshmi and narayan two hands belong to sri narayan and two hands belong to sri lakshmi yeah this uh, proves that god created this world as the path of family and not the path of isolation but in reality neither lakshmi nor narayan will have four hands but in their previous birth which is called sangam yuga or confluence age they constantly have it in their mind about this 5000 year time cycle which is why they are called swadeshna chakradaris which means they they rotate this knowledge constantly in their mind that's why in the path of devotion it was sometimes even rightly called as the gyan chakra and the reason his another hand is seen to be holding shank or conch shell is because we are given the job of giving this divine knowledge to everybody whom we encounter daily usually they blow conch shell before the start of the war now we not only announce about the upcoming destruction of the world but also the uh, upcoming new world that comes soon after the destruction of this old world in short the conch shell represents the service of giving this knowledge to our fellow brothers and sisters and his another hand is shown to possess gata or mace so that is to show that he has conquered uh the vices the five vices some deities are even shown to have the have their one leg above gata to show that they have put maya under their feet which means they have conquered maya totally that is also the reason why god natraj was shown to dance above a devil and another hand is shown to hold a lotus we we are also familiar with many deities sitting on lotus we know that lotus although grows on a dirty pond the lotus flower always stands above the water level likewise although we live in the most impure world called kali yuga our mind and intellect are always connected to god above us that's how we maintain our mind and intellect to stay pure just like lotus and also 
the tilak that was applied on mahavishnu's forehead is different from the rest of the deities it is actually a trishul shaped tilak as we mentioned in our previous videos that trishul represents the knowledge of the three times past present and future the god shiva has given this knowledge to mahavishnu which is why he is shown with trishul on his forehead the reason we apply tilak in between the eyebrows is because we souls actually reside there and our mind and intellect forms a part of the soul so the trishul tilak on the forehead means that his mind and intellect is always busy in remembering the three times and also it is common to see a five headed cobra above his head the five head represents five vices lust anger greed attachment and ego since he has conquered those vices by being in remembrance of god shiva those vices instead of torturing him becomes his slaves so the snake is shown to be his slave guarding his head and also he was shown sleeping above an ocean which could be considered both as the ocean of poison or as the ocean of milk and uh the reason i said it could both be considered as the ocean of milk or the ocean of poison is because while he was making effort in his last birth in kaliyug it was the world was the ocean of poison but after conquering the vice he is transferred to the ocean of milk which means the satyug and the reason mahalakshmi was shown at his feet is because once you become completely pure mahalakshmi will automatically come in search of you here mahalakshmi means all sorts of wealth not only money and also in satyug he is mahavishnu is going to marry the most beautiful girl ever on this planet mahalakshmi herself i hope the devotees of krishna or mahavishnu would be very happy to learn about the secrets of their favorite deity through this video but the more important thing to bear in mind is it is because mahavishnu in his previous birth considered himself to be a soul and remembered god shiva as a point of light in the golden red colored world as much as possible that he is able to become as pure as god shiva himself so that he becomes the king of kings of heaven although mahavishnu is the greatest of all human beings who ever took birth in this planet but it is god shiva who made him so is greater than him and that is why we need to remember only god shiva as a point of light to enter heaven and not other deities this divine knowledge given directly by god shiva is available in all brahma kumaris rajyog meditation centers across the globe absolutely free of cost you can google yourself to find the nearest brahma kumaris rajyog meditation center in your area and also you can read the divine knowledge of god called murali uh, through websites we will also be giving some links in the description below you can make use of it thank you so much for watching om shanti